guys, I'm gonna start my skincare routine now. I already used cleanser to cleanse my face. For me, I like to put my toner on a cotton pad so I can just evenly distribute it along my face. I honestly don't know if there's like a proper motion that I should be doing when I apply toner. I guess it's a good idea to like follow one direction though and not scrub your face like crazy. <laughs> I don't know why I keep getting pimples in the exact same spot. Like this entire year, I keep growing pimples in this area. <laughs> why? So after applying toner, I'm going to use this serum. It's the Gold Apricot for radiance and brightening. It smells really good. I'm just gonna take a little, like this. This is actually the second serum that I've ever tried in my life. The first one was one that I got on Sephora. It was also for radiance and brightening. I just found it under top picks. So crazy, because back then I honestly knew nothing about skincare. Like even now I'm still a noob. Like I'm slowly trying to learn the different steps and the benefits. For the longest time, I only used water and a vino cream. It's only maybe the past two years that I've been slowly trying to learn more about it. And my best friend Vanessa has been helping me. Like she literally got me skincare products for Christmas and made me a whole chart on like what steps to use each product. So now I can tell the difference between using products and not using products. The next product is this one. It's called the Bifida Biome... Dude, I don't know how to pronounce it. Bifida Biome Complex Ampoule. <laughs> I'm going to like rub it on your palm. And pat, pat. After serums, I'm going to apply eye cream. This one smells really good too. Before I was using this eye cream from Sephora, it was a lot smaller and it didn't really have any kind of scent. But this bottle is much bigger. I also have dark circles, so eye cream that helps brighten my skin is perfect for me. <laughs> After eye cream, I'm gonna apply my face cream. I discovered this cream back in high school when my older sister Brenda used it. It's a rose scent and it's very moisturizing. I feel like my skin can get pretty dry. It's definitely not oily, so I can actually feel the difference like using a good quality cream. So the last step of my skincare routine is applying sunscreen. I've heard really good things about this one and I've also been using it for the past two weeks and it's really nice compared to the ones I've used in the past because it's so light and it doesn't leave any white cast. I don't want to waste too much, but I also want to have enough to cover my whole face. For the sunscreen, I'm only going to apply it to my face. Like, there's no way I'm going to waste it on my body. But with the ones that leave a white cast, like, sure, I'll put it all over my body. <laughs> I admit I'm guilty because I don't apply sunscreen that often, except for during the summertime when I know it's a really hot day. But yeah, like, I, I've been hearing you should apply sunscreen every single day to prevent, like, wrinkles, freckles, sunspots, and just, like, as you grow older, you should always wear sunscreen. Okay you guys, I'm gonna make myself some tea now. Got my maple story cups. I have a whole collection of tea here because I love drinking tea. I usually just dip the tea bag in for like five seconds and then I take it out because I don't want the tea to be too strong. Just enough. And then I just put the tea bag in like a shop glass or something to hold it so I can reuse it again later. Tea is so good and makes me happy. When I was young, my mom instilled a habit in us. She was like, you have to drink water every single morning as soon as you wake up to cleanse your system. Most of the time I do drink water, but other times I just go straight to tea. But yeah, I definitely can't eat anything without drinking water first. It just doesn't feel right. <laughs> I was just reviewing the footage and like, my wash hand is so bad. Usually when I make my tea, I just kind of sit at my kitchen table and chill here for a bit. Normally, I'm on my phone just like scrolling messages and catching up on stuff, but other times, it's actually so peaceful when I don't even touch my phone at all as soon as I wake up. I remember trying to instill that habit to like not check my phone until I wake up, brush my teeth, wash my face, do skincare, drink tea, journal, and only until after like I'm done eating breakfast then I can touch my phone. But yeah, it's kind of hard, right? I know one thing that really helps me before though was turning off my notifications for like Instagram and stuff because I feel like if your phone is close by to you and as soon as you hear a notification, you automatically want to go like, oh, let me check it and like see what's up. But if you allow every single notification to like grab your attention, you're literally letting technology control your life and the pace of your life. <sighs>
and uh, I feel like my word for 2023 should be intentional. It's like we only have so much time in the day, but if we're not intentional with our time, then before we know it, the day's gone. Before we know it, the year passed by or like our life passes by before us and we're on our deathbed like, oh shit, what do I even do? <laughs> like I, I don't want that feeling. So I want to work towards being more intentional. What would be your word for 2023? I feel like my brain has been so messy lately. I use two different journals. They're both from Lavendaire, which is one of my favorite YouTubers that talks about lifestyle design, productivity, mental health, and stuff like that. Basically, how to create your dream life. So I've been using her journal since like 2018. Christmas is this Sunday, and I haven't done any Christmas shopping yet, so I'm low-key stressed. So today's most important task is to finish this yes style video. Making one YouTube video is actually a lot of work. Like there's so many steps to creating it, like from if you're not writing, but even just like okay, filming and then when you're rough cutting and then selecting music and then, you know, like cutting to the beat, transitions, adding text, motion graphics. It's just like, like a lot of stuff that is included in the editing process. So when you say edit, it's not just edit, it's like, it's a lot. <clears throat> and that's that I still have to like, create a YouTube thumbnail and then write descriptions and This month, I actually turned down slash lost a decent amount of freelance jobs because I upped my rates and part of me is kind of struggling with like, oh, should I just accept it and do it for their rate or lower than what I would want just to make money so I could afford paying my rent, car, food expenses, just like living in general. But yeah, the other half of me is like, I already worked so hard this summer and I deserve to rest or kind of take back my own time. So I actually feel relieved to not be doing like any of those freelance jobs like technically i could have had a wedding shoot in texas or india this month too but because it was overlapping with my mom and my sister's birthday and also india would have been during christmas and new year's eve i'm like mm, do i really want to do it and if i do want to do it then at least i'll charge a bit more so that it would be worth like taking away that family time. I feel like I sacrificed so much of my youth already, like from high school until now. I missed basically every family or friend get together in the summers for like the past 10 years. So now I feel like I'm slowly trying to reclaim my freedom and do things that I want, but I know I also need money to survive too. So it's kind of like, that's the inner battle that's been going on in my mind. But yeah, I'm just really trying to believe in choosing the things that I want to do. And as long as I do my best, then hopefully people will notice and the rest, like, you know, success, wealth and all that stuff and happiness. Or as long as I chase my passion and my happiness, then like the rest will hopefully follow instead of the reverse. because. Yeah, I don't want to be burnt out or unhappy with my life or what I'm doing. But at the same time, I know like not every single job you have to love. Like sometimes you just gotta do it for money. So yeah, just trying to, that's what's been going on in my mind along with a, a lot of other things. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and listening. If you have any other questions or life thoughts on what's been going on in your mind, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I'm always happy to reply to you guys. Like as creators, I feel like we put in a lot of effort to make videos. So whenever we get like a like or a comment, it's just really rewarding or like, yay, someone noticed that we made this video or someone's actually watching. But yeah, thank you. <laughs> Anyways, I'm getting really hungry now. So I'm probably gonna make breakfast. So I have some leftover rice from yesterday. I'm probably just gonna heat it up and make ochazuki because it's nice and easy and it's very comforting in the morning. Ochazuke is super easy to make. You just buy these packets. They're not that expensive either. And you just pour it on top of the rice and add hot tea. And sprinkle it all over.
think I'll be able to upload anything on Christmas in real time. So just want to wish you guys a happy holidays ahead of time. 